Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Vaughn. I'm going to record a short video here to walk you through the first part of Worksheet 2. This is our uh, substantive online experience uh, to uh, make up for the fact that uh, we're missing a little bit of direct instruction as I'm out for uh, uh, bereavement for the next couple of days. All right, so uh, we're going to start with the grading sheet. And uh, again, you're not going to type anything on this particular tab, but I do want to make note of the um, text box over here on the right, which gives you directions about how to actually use this worksheet to prepare for the final mission project, and especially the details about the narrative. Under tab one, part one, we're going to look at the inflation. The first thing you want to do is type your name into cell A2. You can see that I've already done that. Then you're going to click on this link. And, uh, you know, if you're on certain web browsers, you might need to do control and click, but just click uh, and hold to select this cell. You can also cut and paste this um, URL into a web window. Uh, once you've done that, you'll be taken to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the Data Tools tab. And then you're going to check this box, the first one, U.S. All Items 1982 to 84 equals 100. And go down to the bottom and say Retrieve Data. What we're looking for is the most recent consumer price index that's available to us in, in the table. Now, last week when I demonstrated some of this in class, uh, they only had the August number. Now, since then, they actually have the September number. So we're going to do this worksheet today with the most recent number they have, which is September 2017, and it's 246.819. So I'll put that number into last month, 246.819. And I'll record the month, which is, uh, I'm going to put the, um, spell it out instead of putting it in as a number. So September and uh, the year 2017. Now we want to go back five years. So we're going to put in September uh, 2012. And we need to go look up the consumer price index from our uh, data table for September 2012. So let's see, that would be... Um, uh, 231.407, 231.407, All right, so uh, now we need to figure out the percent increase of over this period of time. So we're going to do this using an Excel formula, and it's that new minus old divided by old. So equals parentheses, and the new number is this uh, second one here, the consumer price index in cell D7 minus the old consumer price index, which is in cell D6, and then the whole thing divided by the original reference value, which is in cell D6 again. So this gives us an inflation rate of 7%. This is, um, by the way, the same percentage that we got had we used the August numbers. So if you use the August numbers, you'll still come up with the same percent increase, but I would like you to make sure that you're always using the most recent consumer price index numbers. All right, so next we're going to use this inflation rate over five years. This is the five-year inflation rate. We're going to use this five-year inflation rate to figure out uh, what a dollar would have inflated to after this five years. So we're going to take this is the general way to do inflation of a specific price value. So you're going to equal the original price that we're trying to inflate, which is in this case is just one, times parentheses, and then I'm going to do one plus and the uh, rate of increase. That one plus kind of keeps the original dollar, and then the uh, rate times the original amount, the one times seven percent, is giving you the increase. So together, you get the uh, that growth factor that we were talking about um, before. So this should turn out to be a dollar and seven cents. All right, now you're going to type in here your total budget from worksheet one. Now I don't know what that number is. You're going to have to go back to whatever you completed your five-year dream vacation. I mean, your dream vacation for five to t uh, ten friends that you did in Worksheet 1 and figure out what your total budget was. So for today, I'm just going to put in a, an arbitrary number that that was uh, maybe $12,500. I'm going to put it in as a currency. And now I'm going to do the five-year projected budget total. So whatever this number is, you're going to do the same thing that you did for that $1.07 cell. So that equals the amount that you want to inflate times parentheses, one plus, and then the five-year inflation rate. And this is how you're going to inflate um, budgets, budget items or amounts five years into the future. So that's it for this particular part of, of the video. I'm going to end this video. We'll pick up a new video when we start in on uh, part two, questions one through three, and part two, questions four through six. Um, think about how you might apply this, and uh, in particular, 
looking up and using the consumer price indices on your mission project worksheet in addition to just completing worksheet two for this week. Um, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.